Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a simple and easy trick to find the column value argument in a VLOOKUP formula. This is a trick I learned from Alan Murray from ComputerGaga.com and I'll put a link to his post below. But let's take a look and see how simple and easy this is to do in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a data range here where I have a model number in column A and I need to pull the location from a table that I have on another worksheet. So if I go to the table one worksheet, you can see the model number is here in column A and the location is over here in column S, which is 19 columns over. But it could be 20 or 30 or 40 columns over, and I don't want to have to figure it out or sit there and count those, especially if it might change too. And we'll take a look at how that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is, in column D here, I'm going to start with a simple VLOOKUP formula. My lookup value is in cell A2, comma, my table array is a table that I have called data1, so I can just start with that and hit the tab key, comma. Now my column index, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the column function. I'm going to enter the table name, square bracket, and now I can either scroll through and find the column that I want, or I can just start typing location, hit tab, close my square bracket, close my column function, comma, zero for an exact match, close my parentheses on the VLOOKUP formula and hit enter, and I get New Orleans. And if we look at the formula, look at the column index number, and I hit F9, notice it resolves to 19. And the nice part about this is, let's say I go in here and I add three more columns to my table. I go back to my VLOOKUP formula. The data still works. And if I take a look here, column index number, hit F9. Now it's resolved to column 22. Now, this only works well if your table starts in column A. So it knows exactly which column within your range you are looking for the data. And your lookup value is in the very first column of that table. If you have a scenario like this, where your table starts in the fourth column, so you have three blank columns here, what you would need to do is type equals VLOOKUP tab. My lookup value, again, is in cell A2, comma. My table array, this one's called data2. So I'm going to hit tab, comma. Now for my column index, again, I'll use the column function for data2, square bracket, location, close my square bracket, close my column number, but before I go to the next argument, I'll subtract 3, which is the first three blank columns I have on that worksheet, then comma, 0 for an exact match, close my parentheses, hit enter, and again, I get the correct value. Copying that down, it populates all the rest of my values correctly. And that's how easy this is to do in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Exceling.